both cases you can see the car behind you and when you're behind you can see the car in front of you and you have some some marks around the track where you know if you're going to be quicker or slower so it doesn't really matter well when it comes to trophies certainly over the years ac milan have got the lion's share but having said that as roma have also taken some pretty big trophies in their time especially at a national level and these two teams bang heads every year and once again they're doing it on track here at Estoril it's a really hard one to call this on the warm-up lap all to the side pole position two races tomorrow and in terms of the championship Guan are the league leaders Eindhoven second Liverpool in third position Anderlecht in fourth Sevilla fifth Tottenham sixth Basel, Roma are in 8th position, Milan are in 10th, so there's absolutely every reason for these two teams to really go for it. Milan, the real surprise, not had the kind of season they expected when they were really the favourites pre-season. Here we go then, the final of qualifying, it's Roma against Milan, and you see the dual shot there. Roma leading the way with their new driver, Frank Pereira. Looking for that first sector, Pereira coming up to it now. And it's 17.6. He made he made the difference. He made he worked out. Oh no! Oh! That's still fast. And he's made a difference again. <laughs> the other oh, way. Oh, he ran wide. He's ruined it. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. 17.7, and that'll be no problems for AC Milan. AC Milan to beat now, surely, because those were two big moments there for Roma. Um, he's, he was in front in the first sector, but he, but he probably, won't be anymore. He probably lost some time to the second sector. Oh, and another moment yeah, again. I reckon uh, he's yeah, down. He, yeah, got, yeah, he yeah. was ahead in the first sector, but I reckon he's down by now. And we'll soon find out as he comes to that 59 point. Coming up in about three seconds time. Here we go, Roma. Oh, he's pushing really hard. Too hard. 59.8. He's done well in the second sector. Yeah, but Could he hold on? That's six tenths too slow. All right, we're about to find out. AC Milan approaching that second sector. Here they come. 59.7, it's close. One tenth. Nothing in it. And Bruce is crossing his legs, his arms, his fingers, everything. Here we go. It's an all Italian affair. But who's going to come out? Bellissimo. Roma versus Milan. Milan crosses the line. 126.3. And here we go, here comes Robert Dornbos and AC Milan. 126 threes chasing, 126 seven. seven. And you know what, basically, I can tell you, the tires are gone away, so yeah. the cars are moving around, and again in the last sector, Frank made the difference. There Fantastic, you go. first time in the car this morning. That is incredible. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. We have a pole position from a complete rookie, certainly to this championship. But to be fair to Frank Pereira, he's a man with mighty experience at only 24 years of age. He's driven pretty much everything there is to drive, including coming fresh from the United States. But he's been out of racing hard for a while now. And uh, this, a great opportunity. Fantastic. Yeah! Yep, that was the reaction by the team. And remember, Toccacello, I don't know if Toccacello took a pole position for him, for them. I don't think he did. So that's their first pole position. So well done to AS Roma. Excellent stuff. Nope, they have not got a pole position. And so very well done to Frank. And he doesn't believe it himself. Or oh, probably he does. He's a pretty cool customer, isn't he? Yeah, very easygoing and uh, very relaxed. I mean, he was a go-kart world champion. Yeah. So he has a bit of experience behind him. And, um, and coming from the US, where the level is very high in Champ Car and IRL, and the cars are difficult to drive, uh, well, he just put it together. So congratulations then, as Roma defeat AC Milan to take pole position. Great qualifying session. And if that is how it's going to be for this weekend, worth tuning in, I'd say. Brilliant stuff, and a few mistakes early on was the difference made. But this man, Frank Pereira, and his team, Team Fisichella. And remember, Giancarlo Fisichella still driving at the highest level for Force India right now, and a huge Roma fan himself. So, AS Roma do the business here in Portugal. And they might be able to have a glass of port after that. Uh, he pushed really, really hard. 
and got the car sliding around. And the road to the pole position started off. The four teams and the top four teams in the bottom going through though AC Milan, Olympiacos, Liverpool and Roma. Great battle between Liverpool and Roma, but Roma coming through, and likewise AC Milan just beating Olympiacos. Roma in the end taking pole position. Great start to his career in Super League Formula. And I asked him yesterday if he was going to be around for a while, and he said, Yeah, why not? I'm looking forward to it. And the funny story is that he's using uh, Align Driver's shoes. He hasn't got his gloves and he hasn't got uh, his uh, ballet lavas. So, uh, very funny. So that is. So he really isn't 100% short sorted. And I would have thought that's not easy for a driver. You like to have all your equipment ready, and it's one of those things you don't need as a distraction. He hasn't got his shoes, he hasn't got his gloves. Uh, just his overalls got there this morning. So uh, it's very lucky. And his helmet, obviously. So in he comes. Pole position man. And definitely the man of the moment. He set a scintillating place right from the group stages. He was on fire. And whenever he put new rubber on, it was like a new pair of football boots. He was scoring with every kick. AC Milan, the mighty AC Milan, couldn't even stop him. And Frank Pereira flying down the straight here at Estrel, two pole position. Can he do it in the race? We'll find out. And that is absolute delight from his team. They are well pleased. They've only just started working together this morning, quite literally. Frank was around uh, yesterday afternoon and they did a, you know, a relative sh seat fitting and you know, a lot of hurry up waiting as we call it in mo motor racing, but a lot of just standing around. And uh, today was the first time they've really worked in anger together and what a result. So then, this is how it looks for the race is tomorrow, reverse grid for the second race, but Frank Pereira will start pole for the first. Alongside him will be Robert Dornbos of AC Milan. Olympiacos, so hard, Casper Anderson pushed in qualifying, but third will be his result. Liverpool are there as well, third in the league and fourth on the grid. FC Porto racing at home, Tristan Gomedy far from out of it, nor is Davide Rigon. Top of the league, Beijing will start sixth. Enrico Toccacello with his new team, Dortmund. He can be pleased with that, seventh place. Antonio Pizzonia still learning his way here in Super League Fauna, but he's making his way to eighth position ahead of Craig Dolby. Well, Dolby's proved that he can come from the back and still finish second. Could he go even better? He's alongside fellow youngster Max Wiesel of FC Basel. Atletico Madrid, Andy Susek will be disappointed. Had a few problems with his gear selectors, and he's further down the grid than a man of his caliber should be. And likewise, Borja Garcia of Sevilla down in 12th position. PSV Eindhoven, Yelma Berman, so brilliant last time out, but down in 13th, Ryan Dezel alongside him in 14th place for Rangers. Galatasaray, Alessandro Peguidi down in 15th place, and Tuka Roca of Flamenco down in 16th place. Paul Muir, well, pole position last time, 17th this time. That's motor racing for you. And Tottenham Hotspurs, well, not doing very well in the Premier League. And sadly, Dominic Jackson right at the back of the Super League grid as well. No help from Ramos today.